Welcome to The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. Roxy with the Y. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a guest today. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Welcome, Hi, Roxy. Hello. <laughs> Yay. She was just kind of giving us a, a couple things of what she's a done little, in her. A little, yeah, a little breakdown yes. of her retail career. <laughs> We're very excited to hear about it. I didn't know that you worked overnights. Yeah, a lot of years. So uh, <laughs> Yeah. So you were saying that you started with overnights? I actually started during the day. Okay. And uh, mostly like cashiering, customer service. Yeah. Uh, okay. Lasted for about a year, and I had small children. Figured out the best thing to do would be work at nights, don't get yeah. much sleep, take care of them during the day. Good oh my Lord, God. bless your yeah. heart. Yeah. I'm happy they're teenagers now. <laughs> and, and you're like, have. yeah, you can cook for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I have two. One's okay. uh, out of the house, um, but he's still in college. He's up in Milwaukee. Yeah. And the other one's a 16-year-old, so junior high school. Very oh, wow. good. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very good. So are you going to make them listen to this? I think so, <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. You have to be like mama's on the show. You gotta listen to it. If you don't listen to anything else, yeah. <laughs> this is it. Listen to the clopin effect. Ah, oh, very good. So oh so how many years have you been in retail? I'm sorry. Um almost fifteen now. Almost okay. fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And you started off cashiering and then like customer service. Okay. And that's when I switched to third shift, which is mostly stocking. We were opened at night then. Yeah. So it was still customer service and cashiering too. But now we're uh, the pandemic kind of closed our stores at right. nighttime, which okay. is actually, I think, probably good and nice. for many reasons. Yeah. <laughs> so what time does the store close for customers? Um, 11 o'clock. Okay. And that's what time you get in then? Oh, uh, 10 o'clock. We actually oh, get okay. in at 10. And mm-hmm. do you usually walk with someone to say, this looks like crap, I'll fix it for you? Um, like- <laughs> Yeah, that is about what happens. Or they walk, they walk with you and say, here's what we didn't do. Yep, yeah. and then the same thing yeah. happens when the next shift comes yeah. in. Yeah. Here's the all. crap we didn't yes. do. Yes. It's a vicious cycle. Yep. We've all learned that. Yes, we have. Blame I think, it on the do you, shift So do you think that's gotten a little bit better since you guys aren't open at night then? Yeah, good question. Um, it... I would say if we could keep enough people, it would have gotten oh. better. It gets better for these moments. Here we go again I with know. nobody yeah. wants to work. I know. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, just wait. We had five people last night and we should have had 20. Oh, oh wow. No. Yeah, That's a big store. Yeah, yeah, it is a big store. And also it's just, um, you know, and of course with the pandemic, there was lots of people missing all yeah. the time. Yeah. But uh, yeah. it's been tough in our area to find people for third shift. Yeah. But third shift, I think, is probably hard. That's the hardest Anyways. shift to Anyways. Even without a pandemic. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, what what department do you work? Um, all different departments. I mean, I work at nighttime. You work anywhere. I mean, sometimes they yeah. even have us up in, like, you know, produce, bakery, like prepping things if people are calling in for the early You're like class. making oh. the donuts. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean, most of the time we're just like, we're here to stock the store. Sometimes we have to come on and the truck's still not unloaded. So we're doing yeah. that still yes. too. Um, wow. Or the truck driver got COVID, so like uh, you don't even get a load. <laughs> that's the worst. We only had that happen a couple of times, but oh, like, that's good. So yeah. what do you do? Then you just face product and make the store look um, nice. Yeah, I'm sure there's oh, stuff there's, to be busy. There right? is so much. Yeah, yeah, we always have stuff to do. Like and back stock, and or, back stock, yeah. taking everything out of the back room, going through like bins in the back room. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a big store, so and there's there's just so much that I mean, it's a constant thing. You guys know that. Yeah. It's yeah. Constant. yeah, there's always stuff to do. So, do you ever have nights where it's like what I call the witching hour, like two and three a.m. come around, and you're just like, I don't even think I can make this till the morning. Like, do you have any like times where you just want to lay on the floor and take a nap? Um, <laughs> or is that just that's me? Like me during the day. <laughs> <laughs> that that is funny because like it used, you know, of course it was kind of around like when I used to take my lunch because like. Yeah, I was like, you know, when they said, okay, if you're not full time, we'll let you take half an hour lunches because we don't as long as you're not getting overtime right Right. now. Right. Um, Like that was much better. But like now I have pushed my lunch all the way to the end of the day okay. oh, because there you go. then the witching hour yeah. is fine yeah. when you're like, you know, at the end of the Because you get tired day. after you eat, Absolutely. Right? You know, that yeah. makes sense even during the day. If I eat at noon, I'm yeah. tired. Like I'm until done. about yeah. three, I'm just kind of like, meh, yeah. you know, so I, I, I wander around I the store lunch. and I'm just like me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do this anymore for uh-huh. the day. Look, it's today. It was 65 degrees out. Good Lord. I wanted to yeah. go lay outside in some shorts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So when do you sleep during the day? Like what is, uh, tell me about your schedule. Well, I try to sleep um, 
I try to sleep in the mornings. Like, I'll come home and do a few things, and then um, maybe, like, 9, 10 o'clock, fall asleep, and then I try to get up, like, 3, 30, 4 o'clock. Uh, it doesn't always work out, so there's days where I'm going to bed at 2, sl- and mm. sleep until 7, yeah. but... With my kids being older and, you know. You don't really have to worry about yeah, it. Yeah. They're my not hus- going to burn the house down. Yeah. My husband works for a shift, so sometimes he's not getting even home till six or seven. Oh, so wow. Yeah. We'll get a little time together then yeah. before I go into Does he work, work retail too? No. He oh. actually, he's a he uh, delivers fuel. Oh, okay. He's oh, like okay. a truck driver. So he's working overtime too with oh, everybody yeah. hoarding gas. Yeah. yeah. And he's, uh, and it, he delivers to a lot of farmers, so right now it's his busy harvest season. Okay. They yeah. call it. So he's like, some of his days turn into 14-hour days. Oh, wow. And then he comes home and he's good for half an hour that he's asleep and i was like that's our day that's me yeah that's me on a normal day uh-huh. too i pretty much come home i eat dinner and i'm just like <laughs> i'm done uh-huh. <laughs> Was it harder when the kids were younger? Um, yes. Yeah, and i just it was just, you know, keeping your brain straight cuz like, you know, I was fine doing it, but seriously, sometimes you were functioning on an hour of sleep. You're like, yeah. okay, they're napping for two hours. Oh I might gosh. nap for an hour. And then you're like, I can get through that eight-hour shift tonight. Oh, my <laughs> oh, <laughs> my. <laughs> but, like, I have a lot of, um, like, you know, younger people now that are going through the young kids while working third shift. Yeah. And I just, all I could tell them was, like, it gets better. Yeah. They get older. Yeah. They become self-sufficient. And yeah. um, But, I mean, I think I enjoyed it, I mean, looking back, because I was – you know, I got to take them to parks, see yes. them walk. Do, do, you do had a, to to stay awake. Yeah, right? exactly. You <laughs> You're know? like, let's go for a walk around the block. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, when when we, we were down in Illinois at the time, because we moved up to Wisconsin mm-hmm. like about 15 years ago, and we didn't know many people. So I had a hard time finding, like figuring out daycare. And I was like, I'm just going to do this. Yeah. And it's yeah. going to be fine. Yeah. And my husband didn't enjoy it because I was pretty crabby all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but you're we, still together? Yes, we're still so together. She was yeah. doing something right then. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good relationship. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, right absolutely. There. That's a strong one. <laughs> so what are your favorite things to do overnight and not so favorite? Um... Well, is there I, a favorite in overnight? I no. don't even know. But I don't I think mean, there is. Because, how about a favorite department? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's funny because like I always a lot of times get stuck in like the homewares department, oh, okay, uh, yeah. the house stuff, and uh, which is fine. I don't think it's my favorite, but like. I think like I like variety because like okay. some nights I'm like, put me in dairy. I'm good. Put me in the freezer. I'm good. Yeah. Like It's just to have variety is good because like. You know, you could have a favorite thing, but then there's some nights you come in and you're like, they're giving me my favorite yeah. thing because there's so much over there, yeah. which means like... I'm burnt out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. like, you're like, oh, there's only 20 pallets tonight, Roxy. You'll oh be fine. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'll 20 be 20 pallets I of know. dairy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I'll be fine. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, geez. You <laughs> know, I never liked HBC, so that's health and beauty care. No. Because there's like eight billion items over there. I feel like there. that's a that's a delicate department yeah. and I'm not delicate. No. Yeah. So to have me like move little tiny <laughs> chapsticks and you know like you go allergies. You like put an eyeshadow and in and they all pop out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it would yeah. not be good. I'm yeah. like a bull in a china shop yeah. so there's no way that I would be good in HBC. No. Yeah. no. yeah. Speaking of the pop, you know, we have a neat meat department with the pushers. Yeah. Yes. And it's funny because we those pushers like they just <laughs> customers are walking by and the meat starts flying <laughs> out. I'm like if I'm shopping I just kind to laugh at oh it because they're God. just like what is going on and i'm like oh there those we hot go. dogs want you to buy them <laughs> boom <laughs> when i come back as a ghost that is what i'm doing <laughs> well, i'm gonna pop this bologna at this lady we'll over be here retail haunters <laughs> yes. oh my God. we'll always be that squeaky wheeled cart we'll be haunting you forever <laughs> What is that? <laughs> what is that? Okay. Tell us. So maskimals. What the hell is that? Okay, it's the big like animal head. Oh, yeah, the so giant like the, panda head yes. that you can put on. And I have not seen them in about the last six months. But well, they, no, because it's Corona. But they. Oh, that, thank God. That's right. <laughs> oh, you're not going to share a big mask with <laughs> someone because apparently the lice epidemic did not matter. Oh my God, no, things. no. Yeah. That's all I thought about. That was like <laughs> super curable uh-huh. and not long term like, effective. Don't, don't so don't worry about it. It's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like they had them for every holiday, Easter, Christmas, like yes. different heads, all this. And like, you know, at, I work at nights. So yeah. there was a lot of kids roaming the store because we used to be open at night. But like these just so many times my favorite thing to do was like when all the kids were posing with their heads on <laughs> is just to 
inch into the background. Oh my God. <laughs> inch, I was in so many Instagram photos, I bet you. Sometimes I'd be smiling, but sometimes I just do the horrible, like, oh I'm the God. horrible, depressed, like, retail worker. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the funnest thing for me in the world. And, like, lots of the people didn't understand why I did it. I was like, I am enjoying this. That is so funny. <laughs> yes. But yeah, the man. You know what? I never, like, mess with the kids either. I had um this, it was when I worked at the gas station and it was spring break. And this group of, like, 14-year-olds came in, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, shit, here we go. Because you know? <laughs> there was, like, eight of them. Uh -huh. And they come in, and they're touching everything. This was way before corona. And so we had, like, boxes of popcorn. They're, like, grabbing those. They're getting slushies. So I just started talking to them. I'm like, how you guys doing? They're like, we're good, you know. And I'm like, are you being good or are you being bad? And they're like, we're being good. And I was like, okay, are you guys on spring break? Yeah, you know. So they all pay for their stuff. You know, I kind of kept an eye on them. I don't think any of them stole. And if they did, whatever. I didn't really care. I didn't get paid enough to care about that. But so then they're leaving. And I was like, those were the nicest kids, you know. Like, yeah. they didn't cause any yeah. trouble. And the one kid comes back and he's like, Thanks for being so cool. He's like, <laughs> we went to the gas station down the street and they kicked us out. And I was like, oh, what a bunch of jerks. Yeah. You know? like, mm -hmm. like, you don't remember being a kid and wanting to just go out and have fun and mm -hmm. live your life. And everyone's, the man's got to take you down. You know? <laughs> you know, Stephen just told us a story. He went to the mall with his friends. Yeah. And he forgot his mask. Oh, you know, we oh, all, we've oh, all yeah. done it, right? Yeah. So he's using his sweatshirt he said to like cover until he could get to a close store to ask right. if they had a mask or buy a mask yeah and he went to i'm gonna say it he went to the disney store yeah uh -huh. and he was like do you have any masks and she was like well are you gonna buy something like she, she oh immediately thought God. that he was a punk and he was like Oh, I don't know. Like, yeah, he, he kind of like started looking around, like, do I have to buy something, <laughs> like oh a keychain? Uh -huh. And she was like, well, I don't have anything for you. And he was like, okay. So he went next door to the Spencer store. Yeah. <laughs> and then he I was like, Spencer's. hey, I totally forgot my mask. Can I have a mask? They were like, yeah, here you go. Yeah. Oh. I was like, immediately she was judging. Why, I'm like, why, no. why do they act like it's coming out of their own damn pocket? I know. <laughs> it's like the condiments at McDonald's. You're like, can I have honey, honey extra honey mustard? Mm -hmm. They're like, that's, that's going to be 50 cents. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. it's going to be 39 cents <laughs> yeah, extra. What the hell? <laughs> Act like it comes out of your pocket. <laughs> give me a break. You make eight twenty five an hour. Uh -huh. Just give me the damn sauce. So you're taking you were taking the pictures with the what are they called again? The maskimals. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to look at that. Yeah. I've never heard that before. That's what this episode name is gonna be. Called. Yeah, that's absolutely what it's gonna be called. And remember when we were at the show at Rockstar Show? Yes. And that couple was trying to take their picture and every time oh my God, it was every so single funny. time we would go down and smile. And so they were trying to take this super cute picture uh -huh. of the two of them, and then she was the girl was laughing. Like seriously. Seriously, <laughs> it's like the three of us in the yeah, background, yeah. and then finally, by like the fifth time, she was like, she got right. up and went somewhere All right, else. Guys, like, knock it off, and we're just like, peace. In the background. <laughs> She's like, I just want a nice picture with my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. We're like, not happening. <laughs> That's what that reminds me. Get you. us in so the background. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, wait, I need to know more about these maskimals. The maskimals. So you say that they're at every holiday? So. Yes. Uh huh. They will have Christmas time. They had snowmen. They had reindeer oh. heads. And it's just a head. It's just a it's head. It's just a head. Nothing. Like, how big is it? Like, it's oh, big. I don't show Oh, just, yeah, it's really big. big. It's like, it's probably about tw three times the size of your normal Where's your head. phone? Google And you it. have to, okay, I'm going to Google it real quick. And you have maskimals. to stock these things? Well, they come in big dump bins. Yeah. So, but the, oh. so then there's tons of them Like in the bean there. bags. Like yeah. Like a big dump bag bin. Yeah. And they're and like, bags. they're hard? Like, no, they're soft. So they squish down. So oh. they're like a stuffed animal. I was kind of thinking too. hard too. But no, yeah, but they're okay. a stuffed animal, but they kind of have a shape to them. Yeah. They I'm picturing little... like mascots. You know yeah. how it's the hard head, but it's not. It's not It's like a squishy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Huh, interesting. <laughs> I know what I'm doing tonight. I'm Googling that kind of stuff. But Maskimals. yeah, but then there'd always be like the scenarios that they play with. They would have the bunny rabbit chasing <laughs> like, you know, the dog through the store because they would all wear the different heads. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. I know. I think we need to do that. We need to go to Roxy's store. I'm and sure they Oh, wait, she'll be closed. Oh, uh, yeah. They close at 10. We'll, we'll have to go during the day. This Cause a ruckus. <laughs> <laughs> there was one time that this was when I worked days. There was, um, I think it was around Halloween, but we had a customer in, you know, a banana suit and a customer oh in God. a monkey suit. Oh they ran God. through the whole store chasing oh each God. other. And the, you know, of course, there was the one manager that was like, "We got to get him out." Of yeah, here. and you're like, "No, Let him have fun." I know. And so they they did like two runs, and customers were laughing, but it was it was yeah. excellent because it was like the monotony of the day. And then you're yes. like, "What did I just see? Yes. What yes. is yes. happening right and now?" You're like, "Holy shit, am I delirious right now?" I know, I know because you're like, when you're the first person to see it too, you're like, "Someone else looked." 
back right now because I don't know what's happening. So, so remember they used to have those flash mobs? They would yes. call them, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. We need Where more a bunch of, of people would show up yep. and then they would just start doing a dance yep. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, we had what I called flash mobs, but they were our small town flash mobs where these kids would show up in like the the one color suit. Oh, yeah. The like, yes. covered, Morphe's or, yes. Morphe's or something yes. like that. Mm-hmm. They cover their, your whole face and everything. And they would just like come in and like one would get into a cart and the other ones would be pushing and they'd be dancing around and I would just be like, I just don't knock anything over. Yeah. Don't, don't knock my displays over. You're yeah. fine. <laughs> How do they see through those things? I don't know. How do they see through the mask? There are little eye holes, but oh, I don't right. think they see very well. No, there, there sure was not. some running into stuff a lot usually. So. <laughs> Hopefully well, not after all you big, start, uh-huh. like, you don't know where you fit through, you know? <laughs> so at 10 o'clock when you show up, everyone shows up at 10 o'clock and then they just kind of say, yeah, you go there, you go there. Is that how it is? Yeah. There's okay. like, you know, there's like the group meeting and yeah. everyone's told where to go. They used to try, they tried this one thing called the task manager where like we would have these screens we walk up to, to tell us where to go. And we would have to clock in and out of our little procedures, but oh. they realized like they should actually be talking to their employees. You know, well, <laughs> I would think so. so. God forbid you have human interaction every day, you know, <laughs> Jeez. Jesus. Yes. Do you have to work tonight? Um. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Oh, oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. That's why she's drinking. Right. coffee. I know. It's it's well, my hurry fr- up so you can it's go take my a Friday though. So okay. I'm all oh, good. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so mm-hmm. do you get two or three days off? I actually get three days off. Yeah. I decided to go part time when I went back to I went back to college. So I decided oh, to go part time. Where do you go? So, um, I went to Gateway Technical okay. College. I just uh, I actually just graduated this April. So yay! Yay! Oops. Yay! very yay! proud of myself because it took me like thirty years to finally get somewhere. Oh my god! Like twenty years ago, I went. Dropped out like three years in. Yeah, so, good for you. Yeah. So now, good. what does the future hold? Um. Well, I went for graphic design. Um. I'm kind of like in my spare time, I do a lot of photography. So oh, I fun. did. Like, yes, I have seen your work. Oh, um. Yes, yeah. So me and Meredith need a photo shoot done for oh, our there open we page. Go. Yeah. We oh, do. I would love yes. to. Yay. Okay. Very good. Yay. Yay. Yes. Because I just started like last year. I did like my first weddings, and I do senior portraits. Fun. So much more comfortable with do that. You, so she now. does yeah. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pod- <laughs> podcast photography. Yeah. <laughs> we were totally just going to go to JC Penny, but you know, if we can hire a local. <laughs> yes, please do. Yeah. We'll, we'll come by you though. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. She's about forty minutes. We got to we got to so. get a shopping cart up there. We <laughs> do. <laughs> hey, no problem. We have a truck. We'll figure it out. <laughs> so do you have a? Um, photography page or anything? Um, or yes, anything I that anyone can follow. Yeah, um, rocksfalk.com. It's uh, can you spell that for everybody? R O X F A U L K dot com. Okay, nice. All right, we'll mm-hmm. check it out. Let everybody check it out. And then yeah. if you guys do check it out, is it on Facebook or just a website? Um, it is a website. I do have a Facebook page too called Rocks Falk. So if you go yeah. to visit the Facebook, let her know that it's because you heard. Yeah, her yeah. On the awesome. make sure you put on there. Heard you mm-hmm. on the clopin. Yeah, and then we'll make sure that we credit you too for our awesome yeah. pictures. Wow, I'm excited now. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> Woman of many talents. See what happens when we have guests. <laughs> <laughs> Things happen and connect. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's perfect. So we, we we were fortunate. We got a stove for my sister-in-law years and years and years ago. It was beautiful. We didn't have to pay for it. It was so mm-hmm. nice. And finally, the right side, the knobs weren't working. Like, you would go to turn it, and it would go click, 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 but nothing would happen, yeah. but then it would keep clicking. You yeah. couldn't get it off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we put up with it. We like to put up with appliances for a very long time not I working. Know. We I have a dishwasher that doesn't work. You've been mm-hmm. through, like, four fridges since We I've have been you. through four. F- yeah, and we have three fridges. Well, we have three and a half. We have a small one down in the basement, too but we have three one never worked so we were using a fridge out in the garage and mm-hmm. like out there for years and only using the freezer stubborn in the house like, that. <laughs> like if you don't want to work fine i ain't paying for another yeah. one you know that's <laughs> what we do mm-hmm. but what i was going to say is we ordered this stove like three months ago yeah. because of the oh. pandemic mm-hmm. and they said well do you still want i said yeah i need a stove i'll yeah. just whatever line us up so the guys came in today they were so professional and i was trying to read like which company yeah. it was that was installing and i can't remember it now of course can't even remember what i had for breakfast but <laughs> you didn't write it down no i didn't write it down i write everything down <laughs> like they what so you have for breakfast like they it got it down yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> i just can never remember anything so i, I know what you had you had coffee with oat milk 
Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's, what, that's what I have every morning. I think we went to Starbucks, too. We always go to Starbucks. I went to Starbucks today. But anyway, mm-hmm. so these guys were so professional. They have it down. Like, when they were done, I looked, and I said, well, how many more deliveries do you have? He was like, 12. Oh, this is oh like, my gosh. This is the start of it all. And they did have a big truck. One guy got it off the truck while the other guy unplugged the gas, and the other guy was getting the cardboard. I mean, they were synchronized. Had, I could not believe it. They had it. a thing going, huh? It felt like a long time just because I was trying to keep myself busy while they were in the kitchen without, like, staring at them yeah, yeah. but I, I bet it was six minutes that was that's really? amazing and then they, awesome. they they start everything he turns the oven on he sets the clock for you and then he was taking pictures to um just you know i got he probably was uploading it you know how yeah. like you take pictures yeah. Yeah. of the work yeah. that you do i think that's what he was doing to make sure yep it works and yep. you no know, not showing everything gas, was fine nothing. when he left yep. yeah yep so very excited it was a very good experience that's so. awesome yeah. and i love it i love mm-hmm. your new stove yeah it's like it's like a bright blue on the inside and I'll it has an Whoa. air fryer in it, it has an air fryer and it's wi-fi so like if you put food in the in the stove and then you have like the app yeah. You can say start oven at five what and be ready hell? by six. Or oh, it's fancy. It wasn't expensive though. It's just fancy. You're so. fancy. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to my pants. friend today. She her dryer broke, and she sent her boyfriend to go get a new one, and oh, he no. spent a fortune oh, on no. like an energy efficient. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, she's been texting me all day. She's like two hours later, oh, and it keeps God. telling me that my clothes are dry and it's not dry. These energy efficients are stupid. I think he's taking it back tonight. Oh my God. Yeah. It would it would go for 40 minutes, and then it would say, all done, and she'd go to get him. They'd be st- the clothes would still be wet. And That's she was terrible. like, what is this crap? That's terrible. So sometimes it's better. It's by cheap. Yeah. You just get the regular yes. old. You know what? And I am a fan of the agitator. Right, so yeah, the yeah. top loaders that have the agitator that come yep. up because I feel like it cleans your clothes so much better. Yeah, and we don't have that. And Steve was just saying how he would yeah. prefer yeah. that for next yeah. time. But if you go to shop, they they don't make those anymore. No, I was going to say you. It's hard to come yeah, by. Those, it is. So. You got to go to like those those re, you know, they refurbished yes. refurbished ones. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Do you sell appliances at your store? We do not online. They do. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. but not in, in the stores. So when actually. customers buy online, do they go to the store to pick up? Or no, it just... <laughs> they can if they want to. Like, to save oh. some shipping fees, they can. But a lot, I think now they, they've made it, like, you know, if you buy over a certain amount, it's free delivery to the oh. house. So most oh, people yeah. get stuff. We used to, like, five years ago, have a lot more things sent to the store, right. actually. But now it seems like it's just a couple things here and there yeah. that, okay. like, yeah. customers come pick up, so... And then do they have pickup and delivery there too? Um, there is. I mean, for groceries. There is pickup, but no delivery yet. Okay. Some of the other stores in the area have the delivery. I was going to say, you okay. guys are like behind I the know. Times we are. Well, now. yeah. Is it like, a smaller store compared to the other stores? Yeah, it definitely is. Oh, it's like a small is. format? Yeah. Okay. And um, like we, it was right before the pandemic that like the online grocery shopping just began, yeah. which is probably yeah. perfect because otherwise yeah. we would have had to do that like during the yeah. pandemic, yeah. figure With it no all out. People. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, and yeah. it's, uh, it, and it's still, it's, I think we got it better now, but it was quite a challenge when we first, uh, started it, yeah, even with that. the experience, it seems like even with the experienced people coming in to train us, I mean, most of the problem was, was like finding the products because yes. you know it yeah was, we talked about that oh, with yes mm-hmm. yeah with christina because she does yeah. online shopping yeah. you mm-hmm. know i shouldn't say online shopping she does delivery of her yeah. groceries mm-hmm. uh-huh. and she'd be like i know you have it it's a damn notebook i know you guys have mm-hmm. it you know like well it's terrible and the thing is it's like it's almost if you're a st- like we help with the online grocery sometimes in the morning like if they're understaffed and it's like it's almost if you're a stalker you're better at finding right. all the products. Yes, of course. Even though everything is supposed to be located and they show everyone how to do it, it's, right. you know, features aren't located. Lots mm-hmm. of the specialty areas right. aren't located. So there's a lot of like times where people, they're, they're worried about their numbers. They're picking yeah. numbers. Yeah. So they're just like, can't find it, can't find it, can't find it. And yeah. then like, you know, these poor, these poor employees that are the exception people, the ones that like have to find all the things the other people couldn't find. Oh my gosh. Are running around like with That's these cars. That's a lot of steps. Oh, I know. There's tons of steps to it. And like they, they, there's so much pressure on these, ex- they call them the exception people. Wow. They, that's for real? Yeah. Like, that's their title? That's their title. Wow. They're the ones that do the exceptions, like the things that the o- online grocery people can't find in their first initial walk. And then they're like, and they're usually finding them like, that person's going to be here in 10 minutes. So they're running around oh the store. Oh my gosh. Trying to find these items so 
so that they don't and they're have, like it's right here I know. <laughs> and there's so <laughs> many be me <laughs> yes and there's so many moments where you hear that proclamation in there they're like it's right here oh my and god like, you're like we know yeah. oh, you found it <laughs> i'd be like walking up to everybody like slap you <laughs> make me run around like that <laughs> so do you ever have to do that then um in the, the morning ex- the exception thing i don't have to do but i do have to help with the online grocery sometimes yeah. okay. a little bit better now because they're they're much better staff during the holiday season well and it was COVID too. So a lot right. more people were ordering online. Yeah. Like they would actually like, it was the decision that we had to make. It's like, okay, either we stock the shelves or we get at least half of these people's products to yeah. them. So yeah. they would like pull like half of us stockers to go start, you know, picking so all the products. that's why we couldn't find any toilet paper because you were too busy exactly. picking people's orders. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, sorry, there's no butter and eggs, but <laughs> here you go. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> So we're talking, <laughs> we're talking about the vaccines, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. Some and of us in this group have gotten it. Some yeah. were naturally vaccinated. Yes. Mm-hmm. So first of all, when COVID first started, God forbid you had a little, <clears throat> yeah, you were yeah. sent home until either you 10 days yeah. or you tested negative or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And like, I remember we hired this kid and it was crazy. So I was working him a lot, and he was a young kid. He mm-hmm. should have been able to handle it. Yeah. And he's like, my mom doesn't want me working this much during the pandemic. And I was like, really, bro? You're like 30, <laughs> first of all. And then he just like, oh, well, you know what? My girlfriend was out of the country, and the job won't let me work. And I was like, your girlfriend was out of the country like three months ago. You told me that, you know? And he's like, yep, they won't let me come. I was like, oh. son of a bitch. <laughs> so now we're dealing with if you get the vaccine – and you're not feeling very well. Everybody after, which reacts it, differently, yes, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I would say most have a sore arm, like we yep. were just talking about, mm-hmm. and then some have symptoms. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and what did so, your job do? Um, it was you get three days paid, not out of your PTO, just the company paying what you the hell? for three days if you have any kind of reaction that you don't feel like you can work with that reaction. So, so how yeah. many yeah. people took the three days? Oh, God, yeah. Um, well, let's see. Probably on my shift, almost everyone <laughs> except for me and this one other girl. Oh my and God. of course, we knew too late. <laughs> oh my! But God. I don't think I would have anyways. But I was just like, but yeah, it was a lot of the younger people. Yeah. Let's say that I'm just like, oh, they're taking a long yeah. weekend. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like, so we, they would take three days off in a row. That's yes. What, okay. And our managers like were very good about being like, oh, they're not handling the vaccine well. Oh my very, God. Sounding very like, concerned. They yes. did a very good job. Very yeah. professional. Like, That's you how know. I was anytime somebody called off. I was like, wow, I really hope they feel better. Oh, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> but you could never show that to anybody else, you know? I think every time I get off the phone with someone and I'd be the same thing, I'd be like, oh, we're screwed. We're yep. totally screwed We've talked today. about that before, too. And you yeah. would always be like, oh, what's going on? Oh, you because know? I would know the people personally, <laughs> yeah. you know? So it would just be a reaction, even though I wasn't supposed to do that. But yeah. I'd be like, oh, really? What happened? Oh, my gosh, your cat? Your cat's bloated? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, you better stay home. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> and we talked about when, when Meredith was my boss, I wouldn't call her. I'd just text her like, I ain't coming in today. <laughs> <laughs> One too many last night. I will not be there today. <laughs> and she'd be like, oh, my God, are you okay? Are you feeling okay? There's a pandemic. And I'm like, yeah, it's a brew flu. <laughs> Oh, okay. As long as I know I'm not going to lose you for two weeks, you know? Now, so, would, would she be the only manager you would actually directly, like, text her to tell her you weren't coming in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because, like, we have, like, three managers on our shift, and there's only one, like, I'll text and apologize yeah. to if I oh, can't go. Yeah. Like, that's the one I'm like, okay, she gets you an apology. Feel yeah. bad. Are you friends outside of work? Yeah, oh, we okay. are friends, but yeah. I'm just like, yeah, the other, no. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, the other one, screw them. Yeah. They deal mm-hmm, with it like mm-hmm. I deal with it every night, right? I feel like this shows the people that are the fakers yeah. or the, you know, melodramatic or anything yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. Because I went to work. I had a sore arm. I had, you know, I yeah. wasn't, and I just, my second dose is tomorrow. But I, I still worked. You know, I don't know. Well, yeah, because you can work from your bed. I worked in a store <laughs> the <laughs> Friday <laughs> after. <laughs> no, I actually I just physically worked. All and- right. <laughs> I still worked out in the morning. <laughs> No, I actually went to a store that day. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm just teasing, yeah. But I feel like the people that, you know, for example, you were talking about the three days off. I feel like those that are like, 
you know, the ones that would they know. call mm-hmm. off or would have the bloated cats, they would be yeah. the ones that take yeah. the three They're days like, I'm off. going to get it just so I can get the three days yeah, off. Yeah, we're this circle right here, and, like, yeah. probably all our friends and everybody yeah. that we know wouldn't do that. No. Maybe one day, but you'd yeah. feel so guilty taking I two know. or three. Unless truly. Yeah. Yes. Unless truly. Mm-hmm. No, I always yeah. felt bad when I would call off. I could yes. be dying, and mm-hmm. I would be like, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we're having this conversation right now, and then who knows how I'm going to feel on Friday. Yeah. Right? yeah. I, you mm-hmm. know, but, so... Yeah, but your boss is going to be like, it's a beautiful day. I'll just take it the day out. Bye. Oh, See my boss Monday. is so amazing. I know. So it's the jealous. culture is so amazing where I work. I mean, I have, very I have caring good bosses, people. but I'm jealous. When of I your first boss. got over there and I would hear them speak, it's a totally different culture than where I came from, times probably three different jobs. And I haven't had too many jobs. They would say something, and I would actually find myself like, are, are you kidding? <laughs> oh, I you can know, believe like, it. Yeah. Are you, are, are, you, is that, are you really being nice or are you just mm-hmm. being, you know, like, <laughs> and they truly are. Yeah. They, mm-hmm. You know, like I get messages all the time, like, oh, you know, if I say something about running or, okay, so we had this fun game. So we have what's called, like, <laughs> uh, oh, I'm not going to say it because then you'll know where it's I like work, such a millennial <laughs> company. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am the oldest person that works there. I am the oldest person. I'm like Mama uh, Meredith there, and I'm totally okay with that. Because I think they they talk kinder to me, like if I'm a mom, yes. you know, like it's okay. With like, they're like, little... oh, we gotta get her some tea. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we have these Friday morning meetings, and they come up with some really fun stuff. You know, like someone from the team would be like, I just want to see. Like we talked about the French fries. Like which? Yes. All right, so curly fries, mm-hmm. crinkly fries, uh, shoestring skinny fries, fries, skinny fries. Which one can you live with? Forever, and which one can you live with? Waffle fries. Waff, oh, waffle fries, but uh, curly fries. Curly, curly fries are the ones. Curly seasoned fries. or yeah, not seasoned? Oh, seasoned. Seasoned. Yes. Yes. Be seasoned. Yes. You have to be seasoned. I don't think yeah. I've ever had unseasoned curly yeah. fries. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Mm-hmm. So then we, <laughs> a couple of Fridays ago, uh, someone wanted to see the inside of everyone's refrigerators. Oh. They just said, nope. snap a picture, uh-uh. and we're going to guess whose it is. I would just take one off of Google Images. Yeah. <laughs> so we have. We have three, like I said. We have ours that is a mess up here. It's full of food and, you know, just condiments and whatever else and probably some old tacos. Did you send them the beverage You fridge? bet I sent oh. them. I sent them my beer fridge. So we have our parties out in the garage. And there's two fr- And there's the water and Gatorade and healthy fridge. And then there's oh our beer God, fridge. that is amazing. And like, and, like, a couple of my friends would say, it's the magic fridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's magical. So did anybody get guess it was yours and no one guessed that it was mine so it was a multiple choice <laughs> so what they did was they showed the different fridges i would think i was like number six in the and mm-hmm. as soon as mine came up everyone started laughing <laughs> there was probably i don't know like between 15 and 20 people and they were like and so i was driving home from michigan so i wasn't able to see what the oh guesses my God. were so i was just able to like see the reactions yeah, and yeah. hear people and they had four multiple choice you know or they had a multiple choice of four names and i was one and not one person guessed no. it was mine because We're I'm like, the no oldest. Way. No <laughs> way. There's no way she would have all no, that. Uh-huh. No way that old lady parties. Yep. Yeah. It's Mama and Meredith. She yeah. doesn't drink. She doesn't drink. <laughs> and so then, of course, then I look in like our message thing and everyone's laughing about oh it. Oh, my God. You did so it. And I, I did it. It was like mission accomplished. <laughs> so it was very fun. They do some really neat stuff. They have a lot of like icebreakers. Yeah. <laughs> they have. And just the stuff that they come up with. And it always revolves around food mm-hmm. because it's. Food, a food re- related yeah, it's a food company. related yeah. company and it's retail so it always revolves around that it's just really neat i think this next time i'm going to ask them for cooking life hacks for Ooh. example julia watches tiktok and when we get our meals like we get the dinners that come you know we'll get like a couple dinners a week that yep. you can make your own and they have packets all the time so it's packets of like chicken broth yeah. or veggie broth Sauce or yeah something. and it's always in packets that you have to cut and then put in the pan so what she does is the pan's cooking. She cuts like the top of the packet off, lays it on the pan, puts the cover the on, it. on it. The lid on it. Yeah, the lid. Squeezes it. And, and doesn't like, you know, not really squeeze it, but like pulls yeah. the packet out. So everything in the packet goes into I've the pan. I've seen that on TikTok. That's With amazing. The, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so it's I like when you're making mac and cheese, you know, the uh-huh. Velveeta shells and cheese yeah. and like get it all out, you know. Yeah. Just, uh-huh. So I want to like invite the chefs of our company to be on this call because oh I want to find God. out about these cooking life hacks. Mm-hmm. Life They're bags, like, we don't cook know. out of a bag. We use our bottles of sauce. <laughs> we, designed the, we designed the recipes. That's true. What is this garbage? That's very true. <laughs> I'm French. <laughs> I like that saying that says, I cook with wine. Sometimes I put it in the yeah. food. Or yeah. <laughs> oh, that was my mom, Barry. That was my other, my yeah. adopted mom. She was, she loved her box wine. And uh-huh. we'd always drink box Aww. wine with her. And she... 
I think she had four of those signs in her kitchen, you know, <laughs> and it was so true. It was the greatest. I love it. That's the greatest. <laughs> so what's, what kind of favorite foods do oh you Oh my God, favorite, favorite foods. foods. I can't is, pick one. That is so hard. You yeah, never even asked just... me that. <laughs> I can't. What I are can't your favorite foods? One. I can't pick one. If you had to eat the same thing every day. No, I'd die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I probably, well, you know. It's that taco dip I love with yeah. the layers, with yes. the fresh lettuce and stuff yes. like yes. that. That's and, a good uh, one. Yeah. Do I, they sell it at the store you work at? They do not, actually. Oh. I, have to, I have to go to a different store for that. <laughs> you better get on I them. know. Like, I got to say, sometimes the selection is not the best. You're like, I've been sometimes. here 15 years. I want taco dip. Uh-huh. Otherwise, and, I'm walking out today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And they're like, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that. They don't care. They're like, bye. <laughs> Stay. We'll give you a bonus. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. fine. I'll do it. We'll pay you in taco dip. <laughs> I would take that. <laughs> so are you like the rest of us and you hate shopping at the end of your shift? I, oh, God. I do, yeah. And it's a, But also I am to the point where I try to not go into the store that, I work in over right. my weekend. Yes. Right. yes. And uh, I will go somewhere else. I mean, yeah. to the point where I don't even want to go into another store that's in the brand yeah. anymore yeah. too, just yeah. because I just, I need, I used to be like, I felt like I was there every day, yeah. even on my days off. Yeah. But I, it was when my kids were younger and suddenly like, they're like, I need this for school and I need this for, I need cupcakes. So it's like, yeah. okay, I'm back at the store again. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like, I'm doing pretty good. Of not going in, and I don't know why, but it feels like it's a refreshing, like, change yeah. of pace to just get a break from it and yeah. just not yeah, even, for like, sure. yeah, not even be in the atmosphere. And I think it's just because it's, like, it's a bigger store, and so it's just the atmosphere yeah. of it is just, like, yeah. too know. much going on. Yeah. yeah. It's overstimulation yeah. sometimes. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah, so we have a lot of listeners that work retail and are students, so mm-hmm. can you give them some advice on how you got through all this? Um, I think the best thing I did was – you know, deciding to go down to, if you can maybe go down to part-time. I mean, I work four days a week, so yeah. it wasn't that, but it's just like knocking off that one day really helped because then, I mean, I was pretty much dedicating my weekends to homework, right. which, okay. you know, my husband said he'd be okay with, but he was a little grumbly about it. For yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you mean again? Oh, we're not going out on the boat. <laughs> I know, exactly. Cause he was just be like, I'm so proud of you for doing this. And then like two months into it, he's like, you're still doing homework. <laughs> Yup. And then he, and then he would try to play the, like, you're an overachiever. And I was like, no, I'm not. I just like to get good grades. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, this is kind of important. I'm We're just, paying a lot yeah, of money I'm for it. I'm just like, would you, would you rather have me, you know, barely passing and paying this money? Yeah. But yeah it, I mean, but like that's, and just get a schedule with it. Cause I tried to like, okay, I'll just do it when I feel like I have an hour. And it's like, and also don't do stuff when you're tired. Okay, oh my yeah. gosh. Cause I like would write some reports or like, do we have these, pre- we had a lot of presentations we had to make and like, and you were like, what oh, is this I, garbage I, I, like I handed one in and I was so embarrassed about it because like, I saw all the things like I did wrong and like, I could, wasn't even speaking English at one point, oh I think gosh. in the presentation. Oh, no. And then I realized now, wait till you're up. Yeah. And awake. And then if you do it when you're tired, listen to it again. Do your You're like revisions. recording yourself and you're just like, I work there. And <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, okay. 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 Well, and we then with it. the graphic design, you're doing like all of the different transitions with the videos yeah. and stuff like that. And then you're just like, okay, I just added like the total wrong video from like my kid's <laughs> youth or something in here. And you're like, there's a baseball game in like, there. It's like you talking and then it fades away and you're like sleeping. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Yeah. And then so many, like when I first started, I had no idea how to do Zoom. And like we had to Zoom a lot of our yeah. teachers because everything ended up being online yeah. for a while. And like so many just like, I felt like such an old person with technology. Yeah. So many I do. dumb things happening on do. Zoom where yeah. like your teacher would be like, that's okay. But you know, in her head, she's just like, oh, get it together. I know. People. Come on. Why can't you turn your <laughs> microphone up right away so you're not like, why can't I hear anybody? Why can't you? <laughs> Let me switch computers. And that's, like you you that's, switch computers yeah. and then you realize, oh, I just needed to turn the volume <laughs> up on that. <laughs> it's my worst fear, like, because we do conference calls, like Zoom kind of calls mm-hmm. too. And I'm like, I like always sign in early. I'm like always the first one in the meeting so I can make sure I'm muted and my camera's off. You yeah. know, like, yeah, because I don't want to be like sitting there like. <laughs> I'm going to get in so much trouble for telling this story, but I'm telling it anyway. Because it. it just happened a couple weeks ago. Oh, no. I have a friend in another division who is 
the gossip king and I love him to death and this totally reminds me of it so I'm on my own call Uh and my phone is blowing up but I see his name and I'm like oh man this is gonna be good Uh you know like he always sends me good stuff so he sends me a video you never showed me this (laughs) this is not bad I'm not going anywhere bad just so you know so they were all on a, a phone call at this other division. It was a very important phone call. Mm-hmm. And someone that she, <laughs> she's in her car and she had her phone on and accidentally hit the video. <gasps> so she's not paying attention to the call at all. That is very important. And you can see her <laughs> laughing and like not listening at all. And someone's in the car with her. Like what? you're supposed to be working. Who's in the car with you? And you can see a finger pointing and then like a dying laughing and you can't hear the video yeah. obviously because she had her stuff. But uh, the person in the other division sent the video to my friend who yeah. sent me the text and said, I don't know who this girl is, but she is not paying attention at all. And I, it just my made worst me fear. laugh. And so exactly. Uh-huh. It is my worst fear. And now that I'm talking about it, it's going to happen. I'm not going to do right it right now. <laughs> but just so you know, like with the zoom and anyone else that's doing it right Right now, if yeah. you make a mistake, I see it all the time. So I yeah. am on Google Meets all, all day, yeah. every day. Mm-hmm. It's like you get an hour break and then another call. And then and like even some of our marketing people, you look at their calendars. They are jam-packed. It's like one run call to the next call, the next call, the next call. That's, how do you wow. get pee? You, you know you, what I mean? You turn your camera and your microphone off and just hope that they don't say, and do you agree with us, <laughs> Meredith? Because then you're going to be yelling from the bathroom. Yes, like, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, As the toilet flushes. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it does happen. People start talking and someone will have to say, you're on mute. Or someone like... When I first, like just a couple months ago, I was so worried about this Wednesday meeting that I always yeah. talk on and I was terrible at speaking and uh, hopefully I'm getting better, but I would shut my camera off to present yeah. so that I wasn't like, I don't, yes. I don't wear glasses or I don't need them, but I would always go real close up to read what yeah. I wrote on my presentation. <laughs> so I didn't want them to just look at an eyeball, you know? <laughs> so it's, but yeah. So anyone that's going through that, like mm-hmm. if you're making the mistakes oh, or, so rough. you know, if you're playing like the zoom bingo where it says, Oh, you're on mute or cameras off or yeah. is, can you see everyone see my screen? You know, that they call that uh, zoom bingo no, or yeah. Google mm-hmm. bingo. So it happens. You should make little bingo cards. I should. Yeah, yeah. I should. Yeah, we have happy hour at work sometimes. So maybe we could do something like that with all the different mistakes we can think about. But it happens all the time. Like even the even the big bosses, you know, yeah. they'll go to talk and realize it or they'll share the wrong screen. <laughs> like one time we were she's like, "All right, I'm going to present my screen." It was like a picture of her kids. We're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's better than a picture of How her old naked. Are they? And then you totally, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a picture of her boyfriend's butt. <laughs> So I don't know. Do you did you guys ever have to run the power equipment at your jobs like no. the forklift, Hell the no. big Joe, oh, the walkie well, yeah. stacker? Yeah, all that no, stuff. but explain them all to me. Okay, so the, <laughs> what we call the big Joe is the one that like you know you put the forks underneath the pallet, raises the pallet way in the air, and you put it and way you, like, up in drive the steel. It. Yeah, and you drive it. You sit so. in the seat so you sit or stand. No, that's our forklift. This stand. one is just you're standing oh, and okay. you have to steer it. Okay, okay. Um, and then so the, it's like a pallet jack, but it goes up and down. Yeah, it goes yeah. it goes way up yeah. into the air. So uh, and then the what we call the walkie stacker, the electric pallet jack, unloads yeah. the trucks and uh, the forklift. That's mostly outside, and it was yeah. just to like stack bales and all that stuff. Yeah. And you know, do fun little swirls. I never, in this. yeah, <laughs> I never touched any of that stuff because I wasn't paying for whatever I knocked over. Uh, so. well, well, and it is very nerve wracking yes. when you first learn to do it. But uh, I learned it just because like. You know, I was to the point where no one would, like, I needed to get a lot of pallets down from the yeah, steel lot. Yeah. Like, I was putting features out and stuff like that. It would be up in the steel and, like, yeah. be like, oh, I'll get to it. Don't worry. And, like, five hours later, you're just, like, still, like no Seriously. one's going to bring my pallet down. Yeah. Yeah. So I learned how. Um, but, like, we just got the new electric pallet jacker walkie stacker, which you unload the trucks with, all the frozen dairy, everything. You just take the pallets off. Um, for safety's sake, they have slowed these things down. Oh my to god! Barely, like I mean, you oh no. you feel like you're dragging it because oh. it goes so slow. Like it now takes probably like three times the amount of time to unload a truck. Oh, that's oh stuff. my gosh! And then we have to take like our big cardboard bales all the way down to the other side of the store, out back. And uh, in the winter time, it is not plowed back there with the snow. And oh like the man. other one went fast enough that like you could you know push you, it through. You, you jiggle plow it through. Plow it through. Yeah. Yeah. Plow it through and like there was just like. You would, and now it's like you get stuck in the snow. There's like you're you're on the walkie like 
I need a lot of salt out here. <laughs> otherwise, we're not getting in our machine back in. And, uh, and it's to the point where, like, people just laugh now because, like, I have no patience for, like, these slow <laughs> machines. And, like, I, they seriously say I'm dragging it because it's, like, my arms are out and I'm leaning back. Just, like, <laughs> I just want to get back inside. I want this to be over with. And, and, you know, and then there was some hope. Like, they called the company and said, could you come speed this up? And they're like, sorry, we can't do that for safety's sake. We yeah. have to make sure these go really, really slow because it's very efficient this oh way. My oh, my God. Oh, my Yeah. So I feel like it would be bad on the bottom body yeah, I like right. you know because you're you're used to walking at a certain pace yeah and then they're slowing you down and you're pulling on it so now everyone's got back problems yeah, yeah. come well, yeah. on get I, with it. I almost feel like we're gonna have shoulder problems because oh yeah like, right, yes. right right yeah we got the one arm all the way out yeah. and we're leading back like thinking like you know our weight's gonna move this machine yeah. any fast when yeah. did they change it and did they change it for a reason were there injuries or um, do you know there we it's heard just corporate's great idea we heard there was some injuries <laughs> not at our store though like there's oh. always there's always those stories of like you know we now like when we make a bail we have to wear full ppe we have to oh wear goggles which you can't see through because they're all steamed up oh and God. uh then you have to wear the gloves which makes it really hard to tie those wires yes. and everything and then you know a safety vest so and we've never had we've had one injury at our store um, making a bail making a bail in like the i think the 16 years it's been open wow. yeah. but like there's this like the goggles are because for some reason like people are are getting eye injuries when they're like poking through the bale, the cardboard in the bale. I was gonna on say top. they're putting the wire in there and then poking I, their <laughs> eye with it. What the hell? I don't know. So, but now it's just like you know. There are certain times where, like, in the middle of the night, like, most of us are understanding we're not yeah. putting the goggles on because you can't see. Yeah. But then, like, the morning shift comes in, and there's some You're very, like, mm. there are some very concerned people about safety yeah. oh. in the morning. So, and and it's not someone in management either, but they will make sure management oh, knows God. any safety oh, violation that might be going. A little narky narc I of know. the company. <laughs> oh, God, so, I hate them. So then you have to, like, when you're doing the bail, then you got your full PP. Eon, you just got to make sure to be like, hey, that person will be standing hey, right <laughs> Hey, I need to take my goggles off because I can't see a thing right now. <laughs> so you just kind of announce any time you're having like a safety violation. Oh, that's so that funny. person's like, okay. Oh, we're okay. Why is there always someone like that at I every know. store? It drives just, me nuts. They're no fun. That's <laughs> okay. So we had one cart pusher. Okay, so now now this is great because me and me and you, Roxy, we've mm-hmm. never worked together. And I remember when I started at my store, and this girl that got me hired there had worked there already for five years, and she was like, "Oh, shut up, blah blah blah. Go get back to work." And I was like, "Oh my oh. god." <laughs> How can you be you can't so speak like that know, to that mm-hmm. person? And she was like, trust me, after you were 10 years, I was like, shut the front door. <laughs> get over there. Finish your damn job. Stop talking to the dogs in the parking lot. And then do you want to hear how nice I am? I know who she's talking about. I would take this person home oh, so that she would. Hey, I've given her rides. I've given her rides. And you know what? She wouldn't shut up. She wouldn't get out of my car. I was like, just get out of my car. Even, even now, I haven't been at that job for four years, and she knows who I am, and I'll see her start walking across. Stop well, I, it. I don't know if you're talking about her in particular, yeah. but I'm just saying her in particular. Yeah. I would see her walking across and I would think she has been on her feet all day. I am driving her home because mm-hmm. she's only got like a half a mile That's to walk home. That's why you have good karma and I don't. Yeah. See, I do have good karma. <laughs> And I would never say shut up to anybody. You're mean. <laughs> Ever. Dude, I'm I, so patient with that I kind of stuff. I couldn't anymore because it was just constant. All day long, you have to be like, hey. I need, you know, you'd start out the morning like nice. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. You know, because every day she come in, she have an issue. Well, this hurts yeah. now. That's, that's yeah. how they think. Uh, yeah. And that. yeah. And I'd be like, okay, we'll try to take it easy today. You know, let me know if you need help. Okay. Why do I have no carts? You uh-huh. never let me know you needed help. Yeah. I'm able to help you. Now I'm going to start yelling at you. I yeah. feel like it helped because that's what her mom would do to her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there is a gentleman that doesn't speak. Like yeah. he, I, he actually does now when I see him, he knows who I am. I was his, I don't think I ever was his boss, but I worked at the store with him yeah. when I was on the food side and he's a cart pusher as well, but he would never speak when he first started working. Mm-hmm. And so I learned that he makes noises. So oh. I would point and go beep, beep. And he would oh. go beep, beep. Oh, and yes. he would walk over and grab what I was pointing uh-huh. at. 
He does know? talk because he would talk and to he me does. all the time. Yeah, but I, I think he calls me same. fat butt. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of butt, um, he when when he first met me, yeah. he didn't speak. It was like a couple years worth yeah. of not speaking. So I was just like, I I go me me, and he'd be like me me, and he walked past. I like him better than the one I got to yell at all the time. He gets to work. <laughs> I just thought it was neat. It was like our way to communicate. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I realize now when I see him, I say hello, and he's yeah. like, Hey, what's going on? I'm like, Oh wait, you do speak. Yeah. So what over, happened those first couple? When I went years? to the gas station, then he'd come over there he'd be like hey cassandra i'm like hey what's up he's like fat butt and i was like okay <laughs> so thanks so he's limited in what he says yes. but he he makes noises uh-huh. and i think it's really yeah. neat like, and then i'd be like <laughs> you just yeah yeah you just learn to communicate yeah. you know mm-hmm. so i did like him i miss him mm. Aww. yeah he's still there he's hey, still fat there but <laughs> i was like hey what's up <laughs> so do you have people that even though you're closed after 10 o'clock is there still people that work at the front or anything or is it just everyone's stocking um mostly everyone's just stocking now they have someone that stays till like 11 or 12 just oh. to like pull all the registers and get it ready for yeah. the next day then so okay. i feel like that's safe because it's mm-hmm. closed oh yeah everything's locked yeah, yeah. right mm-hmm. and then they don't have to worry about it and yeah and you got you got self-scan open so yeah, you can buy for lunch the and stuff. associates yeah. and stuff they have self oh checkouts. i didn't even think about yeah. that mm-hmm. yeah okay because okay. that's the worst when yeah. all the registers are closed that's what would suck like we would close christmas eve and reopen the day after christmas but the night shift always had to come in Christmas night, uh-huh. right? Like yeah. they're yep. they're the they're the heroes. They had to get yeah. everything back I've in order. There. I've been there, and then it's like <laughs> they couldn't even buy anything for lunch because everything is closed. You yeah. know, like no, nope, nobody's so there. So do you bring a lunch or do you buy? Um, it just depends on the day. I usually yeah. bring a lunch though, just because. Oh, that's you know, great. It got I to that, you know. <laughs> well, I, it just got to that point because for a while, like you know didn't have that much money yeah. so it's like yeah. you get used to doing the take the lunch schooling. thing yeah so yeah. but it, uh, you're like i'm back in school i can have a peanut butter and jelly <laughs> <laughs> take me right you're back like, yes <laughs> do you make fun things so that you're looking forward to it at five in the morning when it's lunchtime because i know no, you say you eat later i mean i think i just uh, you know i have my you know they have a k-cup machine in the back so i oh, you, you know you so go. i have my cappuccino that makes yeah. me happy and whatever i eat along with it yeah. is just fine yeah. but i always have good intentions on like sunday afternoon and i shop for the week and i'm like i'm gonna eat all these salads uh-huh and i'm gonna get all these bananas I'm gonna meal prep uh-huh. and meal plan and then i'm like no nah, i'm gonna go to famous cane <laughs> <laughs> and then a week later like all your lettuce is wilted and they're like i'm there all the time my husband yells at me he's like we need to eat this salad i'm like yeah we do <laughs> go <laughs> right ahead somebody needs to i'm like those cucumbers are dying in there too <laughs> oh man it sounds like my husband a couple of nights ago we went out to dinner and i got a stomach ache from the salad that i ate i mean i have a sensitive <laughs> stomach anyways so then like it was like two nights later and he was like you're gonna finish the salad i'm like nah i kind of gave me a stomach ache he goes well i'm not gonna let it go to waste oh my I'm god like, why are you eating it <laughs> like i'm pretty sure they tried to poison me <laughs> it's rancid yeah. <laughs> i heard him opening oh it and i'm like god. okay that's uh, fine that's my husband too he'll eat it i'm like i i think Babe, I don't even remember when I cook that. He's like, eh, it's fine. I was like, okay. I always feel like if you microwave, you kill all the yeah, germs. Yeah, right. Fine. He drinks Bud Light, so he's used to having just like upset stomach, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Have you made a lot of friends where you work? Yeah, I would say so. You know, you know, there's the. There's the ones that have been there just as long as I have. There's yeah. probably about four or five of us that have been there almost the 15 years. Oh, so yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So we, you know, we have the, the perspective for like, you know, you all know, of it, all of it. So that like, you know what, don't worry, things are going to change. And then they're going to go back to the same way they right. were 10 years yeah, ago. They do right. that. And uh, like, we just did that again. Like it, I was just like, cause they're even talking about maybe changing our uniforms and we're just like. And it's exactly the way it was six years ago. And we're going back to the same process right. we had wow. six years ago. And we're just like, maybe it'll work I don't this know why time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do they do that? They, they all they always call it something else, though. They have a new oh, name yeah. for it every oh, time. Oh, yeah. If so. it didn't work the time that you called it this, it's not going to work the time you're calling mm-hmm. it this. You know, I feel like it must be like a new like district manager or vice president. Yep. And they're mm-hmm. like, let's try this. And all these like butt suckers are like, oh, yeah, let's mm-hmm. try that. Okay, yeah. yeah. Have we just tried that pay before? Pay me my no. millions of dollars every year, you know? And they just tweet one little thing yeah. about it or yeah. something uh-huh. it's yeah. the way that they communicate it to you and yeah. you know, this is fun that's yeah. the same thing yeah. i saw yeah i hate that <laughs> because you how how often do you go through store directors oh wow so in 15 years how many store because you've been at the same store the yeah whole 15 well years. and then there's times we change markets too so then we get a whole new like yeah. team of people we'll go from like okay now you're in like you know the city market now you you're in that, the yep. rural market oh. 
we did because we too. were in yeah. between kind of we could yeah. be considered so it would just be like and then you would always get like yeah the different people and the switch yeah. over and we had like the same market manager for a long time I think for I think he's been around for like five or six years, but now we just switched to a different one and it's all new people. And yeah. it, it seems to be making a lot of the the upper management a little nervous. And I think yeah. it's because they get very used to right. one Five person. or right. six years is a long yeah. time it is. for and a manager. Is. And yeah. the thing is, though, they also got used to, I mean, a lot was based on his emotions. Like I went, oh, like wow. I, I was on first shift as a department manager when he was still there like two years ago. And um, he, uh, I mean- it was all on the day he was having, like, we would get, like, new features in, and we'd have them all up, ready to go, and he and they were mandated from corporate. These yeah. are the features. It's not something, right. like, we ordered, like, oh, I thought this would be great, so well, I ordered right, it. Right. So, uh, and he would just look at it and be like, nope, clearance it out now. Whereas, like, we just, oh my we, God. We just, and, and I was like, you want me to go ask for the markdown money? Because <laughs> yeah. she's saying no to everybody right <laughs> yeah. now, and I'm just like. Okay, and sometimes I wouldn't go because I'm like, we just got these in. Oh, my God. I'm not going to clearance them out right away. That's so wow. funny. So <laughs> that reminds me of a story that I dealt with today. So mm -hmm. at my one store, I have this pricing guy, and he is super cool. Like, if I ever need anything, like, that's a store I go to. Mm -hmm. Like, he'll let me, like, take supplies if yep. I need them, you know. He's like, I don't care. Take it. You need it? Take it, yep. you know. So he's like, I walk into the back room today, and you can tell he's just like, not having a good day mm -hmm. and I'm like dude what's going on how are you like I always try to like go yeah. in there positive because I'm usually asking for something yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> and he just looks at me and he's like it's, it's not the day today you know and I was like oh, what's going on and he's like this and he holds up a bottle of Tapo Chico right yeah, so if you know yeah. Tapo Chico yeah. is like seltzer water mm -hmm. Mexican seltzer water and he goes look at it do you see anything wrong with it? Do you see anything wrong with this? Why is the cashier telling me that this can't be rung up? It says not for resale on it because it's like somebody opened a 12-pack yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. and put it in the individual. Yep. He goes, do you know how many times I've dealt with this in the last three weeks? <laughs> like 40. He goes, oh. and I stopped the store director and was like, hey, we can't sell this. You know, yeah. like it says right on it, not for retail sale. Who mm -hmm. is doing this? And the store director's like, yeah, mark them down to 50 cents. That should be good. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, no, we can't sell these. Uh -huh. And he's like, yeah, 50 cents, and just walks away. And I was like, <laughs> I thought he was going to take that bottle and like bust it over. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so you know what you do? You make a markdown sticker and you slap the shit on there. It's funny. Speaking of no barcode, we have actually had situations where a customer's jacket that like their child left behind from a different store, a brand we don't sell, <laughs> got put onto our clearance rack oh for God. sale. And then yeah. when they came back and were just like, okay, this is my jacket. Can I take it? Of course, our manager on duty was not going to let them take it easily. Oh my gosh. And it was just like, she was to the point where she's like, I'll just buy it then. And like, we finally like got everyone okay to convince like, oh my gosh, not even online. Do we sell this brand? Not near to this brand. Oh my God. Let them so have funny. their, and I was like, no one else has come in in the last couple of days to claim this jacket. Yeah. So I think we'll be okay. But oh, like, okay. like she couldn't like, and we thought at first she was making up the story. And then she's like, here it is with the tag. Oh, with my the, God. We're like, that's so crazy. Can like you, you imagine said, buying it twice? I know. <laughs> and like you said, no barcode that would scan in our system. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's just like, all right. I just took one from yep. something else. Like, yep. oh, we'll uh -huh. call it. We'll call it purple jacket with pink uh -huh. trim. <laughs> Problem <laughs> fixed. They told me to get rid of the mess at the, you yep. know, the customer service yep. desk. So yep. I'll just make something for yep. it. Yeah, That would be excellent. The lost and found ends up getting a tag on it. Yeah. You yep. Put it back in mm -hmm. the store. Oh that would be God. so great. Well, You're like, I swear to God, that's my wallet. I lost. Yeah. Three weeks ago. <laughs> Let's There's my just a <laughs> That would be excellent. I'm buy it for fourteen ninety nine. Are you kidding me? There's an ID and a wallet and a pair of sunglasses too. It's nice. a fake ID. It's in the glass case with a key. You got to get a manager to get the fake ID out. It'll just be a minute, really. Yeah. One more minute. <laughs> You know, going back to the shippers where you were talking about, or the displays where yeah. they would put on clearance. Anytime I see that, I feel so bad for the company. I know. Because you know that this is their dream, right? Mm -hmm. Right. They made these displays and they're finally, yes, we're in this yes. store. Yeah. You know, yes. Like sell 1,500 shippers and send yep. them off to the store. Yeah. And then you have one market director or whatever that says, meh, mark them down. I don't like yeah. the way it looks. Uh -huh. And your dreams are 
you know. And they yeah. walk into that store and they go, oh, oh they're selling it for 30 yes. cents. We're not going to make anything off of this. We're going to lose money on this, you know. <laughs> yeah. Or they probably already made their money up front yeah. by yeah, you know, having yeah. the company buy it. But I always feel bad. Right. You know, you just wonder who's behind these yeah. products. Yeah. And well, now I you're going to have too. to see them on yeah. Shark Tank or yeah. Shark Tank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and like just the, now that. I've gone into graphic design. Like mm. I've done a lot of like product displays and yeah. like designing yes. those. Pro- and like you said, the shippers that we have come in and it's like designed so nicely. And they're like, take it out of there, put it on. Yes, put it on. Like, oh. And I hate that. I am so sad for the designers now that I like, know. oh, they're sweating tears and yes. like none of these displays are seen. Anywhere. I hate that. <laughs> you know that every inch went yeah. into yeah. that. Like yeah. every, the color, we get, the, yeah. everything. We, Cause we'll get emails from the boss like, Hey, they're going to be sending out shippers of this. Be on the lookout for yep. it. I never even see them. Boom. It's on an end cap. And yes. I'm like, oh. uh-huh. <laughs> I know. I didn't even get to see what it looked uh-huh. like. <laughs> and some of them are really fun. Yeah. yeah. Especially ones for kids. Yeah. 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 I love yeah. the ones for kids. The brightly colored, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. different they ones. Look like but school buses with yeah. 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 snacks yeah. on it and yeah. shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. <laughs> it is so sad. <laughs> now we got another happy <laughs> note. You're a bunch of jerks. <laughs> Let them have their moment, please. <laughs> so between the last episode and this episode, I want Google Maps fixed. Yeah. I want pants and girls' pockets. And I want to put up our damn shippers. Yeah. yeah. Without clearing seeing them out. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to see that beautiful artwork. And make sure we keep cappuccino machines in the back room yes. for Roxy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's an absolute, like... That's a great idea. You don't do you have to pay for it? Is it like a big machine? What well, about? it's a it's a K cup machine. So you provide your own. You bring your K cup oh. and stuff like that. Oh, but so at least it's there so it, you can at have it. At least yeah. it's there. They let us uh they let us keep some now. They used to they were having a hard time letting us keep appliances back there and I don't know why. Like like we would Were some, people stealing them? No. Like they <laughs> like they would let us have the pizza oven because it was, I guess, authorized. Oh, and okay. um, but then like someone kept buying a toaster, like they just wanted to have like waffles every. So they were like a toaster, and the toaster kept getting thrown out. Oh and then God. we had to finally be like, people are buying these toasters, and like so you're throwing out someone's toaster each time. And apparently for a while they felt like it wasn't authorized to have a toaster in the break room, and we're just. But like, you can have a pizza oven. I know that's, that's four hundred degrees. Yeah, and then uh, Jesus, and then they had like. <laughs> For one Black Friday thing, they had like a, they gave us K cup machines to give to the cu- like coffee out to the customers. Oh. So they let us keep that for a while, but then we had to send that back too. They're just oh. like, <laughs> no, you can't use that in the store. That has to go back. What and fi- the hell? I know. And finally, they decided there was some that they were gonna like you know CVP down because like the package was broken or something. Yeah. So they let us have a couple in the back room, which yeah. I think you know. Just made us a little bit happy. Yeah. Like, can you just, imagine corporate looking at their sales? Like, man, we're selling a lot of toasters. This is awesome. <laughs> wow, everyone needs a toaster. Yeah. And it's just because it's the people and the, the workers in the break room. They just want, want my toast. damn waffle. <laughs> I know. And that's what it is. It's just like you have wrecked some per- person's day. Because, yeah. like, this person, that's all they could eat was waffles. They had a bad stomach. And, like, the, oh one day gosh. they're just like almost in tears and they're just like, my toaster is gone again. And Who just, throws the toaster out? This is the 40th out. toaster um, I bought. It I might, be, the, per- it might be the safety person. Oh. They might be concerned about safety. It was, yeah. the, it was the knock. <laughs> the yeah. knock. You a knock? <laughs> <laughs> Those damn knacks. We're good friends with a safety person. I don't know that she would throw anybody's. Mm-hmm. Toaster I w- I was out. on the safety team forever. Yeah, yeah, you were. I would mm-hmm. be like, uh, you guys know that's not safe. <laughs> <laughs> if you get hurt, I mm-hmm. I'm not taking responsibility for it. So I'm, I'm just here to tell you it's not safe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then if anybody asked me about it, I'd be like, I told them. I told them mm-hmm. it wasn't safe. Yeah. Well, maybe they think that because working like third shift or at well, any any shift, people are just going to fill up like a kiddie pool and then throw the toaster in oh it. <laughs> just be done with it. No. You know I mean? that, is I so that is so accurate. That is so So I like, probably shouldn't have appliances that plug in. But they let you have a pizza oven. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's that actually pretty like, awesome. Cook a pizza. And, like, well, we've talked it about it before. Face. It's all about pizza parties. They're not going to no, pay you anymore. God. But let's get you a pizza party. And, and you so. know, and you know what's sad? That stuff works on me so much. <laughs> you know what? None of us <laughs> want to admit it. But no, it, it absolutely works because on me too. There's other people. Like I'm just like. That's the way to my heart through my stomach. Yeah. I am happy. Yeah. Like the other day, they just had a cart full of like 
free waters. And I was like, and we just had a talk last week about like, they would always provide, especially since the water fountains have been shut down. Oh, for right. Yes. Yes. right. And our sink in the break room, not good water. Um, so we're just like, okay, they're all, it was just summertime. They would provide us with water, but it seemed to just be continuing. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, okay, good. At least they're giving us fresh water. Yeah. Um, they're giving and us fresh water. I like know. And, dogs. And <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Fill up my bowl, please. Yeah, you, yeah they're taking Thank you, bowls. thank you. Um, <laughs> and then we had a talk in our meeting about how those waters weren't for us that were back in a certain area that those, I guess, like, certain managers were buying them for our team, but, like, no one notified us that, like, this oh, much. What the Yeah, hell? we're just, like, the waters have always been there. But then, like, like after that, like, it was, like, it was one of those <laughs> meetings where, like, okay, they told us all where to go, and then we walked out, and, like, four of us were, like, Okay, can't have any water anymore. <laughs> like, 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 I'm drinking the water until my toaster shows up. And like, <laughs> or someone bring me a pool. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then, there was one guy that was so sick of me and this other person because the whole night it was like, oh, no more water. You know, got to have your authorized water all night long. And so we're like, make sure it's an authorized water. <laughs> And then the other day we walk in and like there's two carts full of water. What and the hell? I know. And I the meeting's already started and I it was just like, oh, now we get water and in like, our Don't touch the water. It's a trap. <laughs> don't touch the water. <laughs> and like the managers are just like, not now, Roxy. Don't oh, start God. right now. So I just said like, oh, now we get water. And then I stood there all night. So I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I think you me sh- and you would get along really well at work. <laughs> Sometimes it's all I just wonder. Oh, I just wonder yeah. what they're thinking. Yeah, because sometimes it's all about the injustice. Sometimes I'm like, oh, yeah, I know this really doesn't matter, but I got to say something I know. right yeah. now. I know. <laughs> so. Yes. <laughs> oh, God, that was that. And that was my biggest one was this could have been an email. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes, such a, yes. You are paying me how much money to sit in this meeting and it could have been an, an email. email. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they overwork they, you. Yeah. They want you to do all this stuff, but let's and then, sit in the meeting. And now yeah. you want and now you want me to go cut hours? Screw uh-huh. you. Yeah. I could have yep. been working this whole time and you could have sent me an email that would have taken me two mm-hmm. seconds to check. Mm-hmm. I'm not cutting no hours. <laughs> Screw well, you. Do they tell you to cut hours and then as soon as all the people start calling in, they tell everyone else to stay all the time? They oh, do yeah. That all oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we're just like, that's why, like, you know, yeah. some of the new people get all nervous and, like, I'm just like, just stay. We've had five yeah. calls okay, every so night. Just stay. You know yeah. what? Job, My thing so. is, okay, so, like, I ran the front end for a while, mm-hmm. right? I knew the fluctuations, mm-hmm. okay? Yeah, we're going to die down, you know, between this time and this time, but it's going to pick up again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the boss would come, and he'd be like, send, send all everybody home. home. Oh, and yes. I'd be like, no. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I'm not. And he'd be like, send them home. Okay. You better get your ass up here and cash here. Yep. And we would be swamped yep. 40 minutes later. And mm-hmm. I was like, looking at him, dagger is my... Like I fucking told you, you know, like I told you not to. Send Would all he those come though home. and help you? Would he Sometimes. at least? Okay, because that that's always Sometimes. the worst is when you're like, this is what's gonna happen, and then you're on the walkie, no, and it's the yeah. dead silence, and then suddenly, like, you'll hear that person answer somebody else on the yeah. walkie, and you're like. Guess yeah. they can't hear me. I need help. You yeah. said you would help me. Right. <laughs> you know, here I am cashiering, and he's calling me like, do you realize you have lines up here? No, yeah, really? I'm cashiering. <laughs> to come back for uh-huh. me. I like the other departments that because service had to cut all the hours back, then they yeah. have to call like yes. right. for backup, mm-hmm. and you could just see everybody from the other departments like, can't you just schedule your people? I right? know. Uh-huh. And you're like, it's not me. It's not me. <laughs> they told me to send everybody home, and now it's dinner time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I would feel so bad because it was always the same people that would come up and do it for you. You know. And that's like Drew said. That's why he was very particular about what department he went. Because he didn't want to, yeah. He didn't want to have to come and cashier all the time. Yeah. So he yeah. went to the deli. He smart. figured that was nah, safe. He's a smart yeah. man. Uh-huh. We know that. So there's Son a birthday a today. Whose birthday? It's Shannon's. It is yeah. Shannon's birthday. <laughs> so she's a, she listens every week. Oh, she's she's a hardcore listener. She's someone that we met at our first job where we all met. Yes. Uh-huh. So it's happy birthday, Shannon. Happy birthday, Hi. Shannon. Yeah. You'll hear this in two weeks. Oh, Thank nice. you so much yeah. for being here. Thank you for having me. This is Thanks great. For this was awesome. You. Episode 14. Can you tell us your website one more time? Um, It's roxfalk.com, R O X. F-A-U-L-K dot com. Very good. And we're going to get with you to get some pictures. Yeah. All right. Excellent. All right. Very Thank good. You. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. This podcast is brought to you by Name Tag Productions, LLC. 
Entire podcast, unless otherwise stated, written by the hosts. Drums, written and performed by my son, Stephen. The Klopin Effect, a retail podcast. If we have to be all in this together, we might as well make it fun. <laughs>